Hello world, my name is Ben, this is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explain quick tips and tricks about AnyLogic, things I learned over the years. And today I want to talk about something that's called experiment host. Uh, and this allows you to do some very neat little functionality with the actual experiment sp uh, screen of your model. So let's have a look of what I'm talking about. I loaded this AnyLogic example model of an airport because I like airports. And what we want to talk about today are these buttons here at the bottom that you get with every model. Um, and it allows users to speed things up or pause or stop the model. And if you're very advanced, you might have used the developer panel already. That's a whole different video. Um, but you as the model developer might actually not want to give the user all these controls. So there are ways to switch those off. And that's what I want to show you today. So in the model itself, just on main, on the startup, I, this is code we're not talking about. This is code from the example model. Let's talk about the code down here. So first of all, to do this, we need to get the experiment host. Um, the function is called get experiment host. Simple enough. You just need to kind of remember it, that it's there. Uh, and this, this gives you access to various little things that you can play around with. And we'll look at some of those. The first one is called set run control enabled. And with this, I'm basically saying, well, set them disabled, please. Meaning that if you give the model to the user, they're not going to be able to stop or pause the model. So suddenly these two buttons play and stop are grayed out and you can't use them anymore. So that's useful if you don't want that for your users or if you have your own user interface that is doing that for them. Then let's have a look at one other thing, the set speed control enabled and with saying it should be false, I am basically switching off the ability to change the speed of the model. So again, now my speed controls are disabled. It's set to the value that you set in the experiment setup, the, um, the initial, uh, where is it? Initial model speed. There we go. Execution mode. But the user cannot change it anymore using those buttons. You can still do it with code. So that's actually set in the dot, well, in the get engine, um, function. You get first the function set real time mode true, meaning don't run as fast as possible. And then I'm explicitly saying at what speed it should be running. In this case, half, half the speed of the, of the model time unit. So now you still cannot play with those controls, but you can see it now runs at half of the speed. Now let's go back to the experiment host and look at some more functions. There is one that's called set zoom and panning enabled. And if we disable that, we are not able or the user is not able to actually pan around the model frame. So you can still pan around the, um, the 3D animation. You can use the user interface, but you might know that by default, if you create a model, you can actually pan around when you click your left mouse button. So if I disable this or would set it to true, then what the user can do is basically do this kind of stuff and see all, all the messy bits in the background that you don't want him to see. Um, but this is a, like a dynamic setting that we're doing with this code. Normally in your experiment properties, you can set that up as well, uh, with this enable zoom and panning setting here. So what we are doing is just the dynamic setup of that. There are a few more controls with the get experiment host, and I invite you to just play around with some of them. Uh, some of them are uh, quite uh, easy to understand. Zoom in and zoom out. There is a nice one, nice one called show message dialogue, which um, gives you a little pop up window um, to show some uh, warning message to your user or guide them through running or executing your model. There we are. Um, so a couple of nice hidden little things here that are worth exploring and, and checking out. Good. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching and I see you in a future video. Thanks a lot.